Welcome back everyone. Next we have Dynasert, which trades on the OTCQX under the symbol DYFSF and on the Toronto Stock Exchange under the symbol DYA. And welcome back President and CEO Jim Payne. Back to the Emerging Growth Conference. We're happy to have you. And Gurjan Randhawa, CEO and President of Cypher Neutron. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Anna. Gajan, I'll start with you. So Cypher Neutron claims to have developed one of the most sustainable and affordable technologies to produce green hydrogen. So can you please elaborate and tell our listeners more about this? Uh, sure. Uh, so Anna, as you know, the, the whole world right now is talking about green hydrogen uh, production. Um, at Cypher Neutron and Anna said, we've been doing this for many, many years now, and we understand the problems around sustainability and uh, affordability of uh, electrolyzers. Um, the, the existing electrolyzers, the existing or traditional electrolyzers, especially PEM electrolyzers, they use uh, platinum and iridium and uh, lithium, all these precious group metals uh, to produce green hydrogen, um, which makes them highly expensive. And also, uh, the, these minerals, they are more than 80% of these minerals are based in South Africa, Ukraine, and all these countries. So these PEM electrolyzers companies, uh, they're waiting for, you know, these minerals uh, to be shipped first, shipped first before they can start manufacturing. Uh, we at Cypher Neutron, we do not use any precious metals at all, uh, which, which makes our electrolyzers affordable and, um, and sustainable. Also, uh, the thing is, there's not in just in, there's, there's not enough iridium in the world to 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 produce uh, enough PEM electrolyzers uh, to justify and satisfy the demand of green hydrogen. Uh, to make things worse for PEM electrolyzers, uh, the membrane of PEM electrolyzers they are made up of uh, harmful chemicals, uh, especially PFAS materials, which cause cancer. Uh, birth defects, kidney failures, and many more health-related issues. Uh, we at Cypher Neutron do not use any, or we have 100% PFAS-free technology. So all these things combined, uh, it makes our technology or the AEM electrolyzers one of the most affordable and sustainable um, solution to produce green hydrogen. And so, Jim, tell us a little bit more about Dynasert and how is the sales pipeline looking for Dynasert? Sure. Well, I mean, at Dynasert, first of all, we're very, very excited to be to be partnered with Cypher Neutron because that has opened enormous doors around the world for the green hydrogen, as as uh, Rajat was talking about. But also with our current technology, our current our current technology, which was designed for diesel engines to improve the fuel economy and to reduce the greenhouse gases. Uh, you know, we are now seeing the sales really grow substantially around the world, certainly in the, uh, you know, the trucking, the mining, uh, the forestry and power generation. But now also we've just expanded to the locomotive industry. There will be a lot of news coming out about that in the very near future. I encourage people to watch that. But uh, so, you know, certainly with fuel prices soaring, and it does not appear that they're going down anytime soon, uh, you know, and then, you know, with the, realization that we've got to reduce greenhouse gases around the world, our technology is really starting to gain a lot of momentum. And Gorjan, Cypher Neutron recently announced a collaboration with strategic resources from Quebec to produce green steel. So we've heard about green hydrogen and green ammonia, but tell us more about this green steel deal and what does this mean for Cypher Neutron? Uh, so, so Anna, uh uh, strategic Resources uh, Inc. from uh, from Quebec uh, has a fully permitted mine and metallurgical complex in the province of Quebec, uh, which is, by the way, funded by the government of Quebec and Orion uh, Mine Finance of New York. Uh, the, according to the collaboration agreement, uh, Cypher Neutron will supply electrolyzers to produce green hydrogen, uh, which uh, SRI uh, will use to power the electric arc um, furnaces to make uh, iron. So this would be actually one of a kind 
um, um, iron making uh, plant which will be nearly zero uh, emissions. So then this, this iron will be used for, for you know, uh, green steel manufacturing. The question about the, what is green steel? Actually, you know, the, it is actually a very brand new topic. Uh, the steel manufactured by, uh, you know, or using, you know, uh, sustainable and environment friendly uh, methods is called green steel. Uh, right now, more than 7% of world's uh, global uh, carbon emission are produced from steel and iron industry. So we are very, you know, we are excited to be part of this uh, green steel transition to curb the carbon emissions in the global world. Um, you know, after this announcement, we have received uh, enormous interest from mining and steel industries worldwide. And we are now in discussion with the new partners uh, as we speak. And we're looking forward to this because this opens up a new multi-billion dollar market for siphon neutron and dinosaur. And, um, you know, uh, we, we are excited to be a part of this energy uh, green steel transition using our AEM deployers. Fantastic. Uh, Jim, you also announced a Green Freight Program Task Force. So um, that's to provide financial assistance to clients. So can you tell our audience more about that and how can someone apply for this program? Absolutely. This is something we're very, very excited about. The, uh, the Canadian government, the federal government, just launched what is called uh, Stream 2 in the Green Fleet Program. Uh, you know, this was, uh, this was designed uh, to permanently modify, demonstrate capacity to reduce diesel consumption on medium and heavy duty vehicles and to reduce the greenhouse gases by switching to a lower carbon alternative. That's exactly what Dinosuit does. Our technology, our current technology, our hydrogen units are designed to do exactly that. The federal government has now just launched a program where they are offering to pay 50% of the cost to put this on trucks. Uh, and they are to a maximum of $5 million per fleet owner. So, I mean, this is huge. And then they've also just expanded it to the municipalities and government. For them, they will pay up to 75% of the cost. So you look at the cost of our unit, now all of a sudden just reduced by even 50%. Before it had a payback of less than one year. Now that reduces the payback to the end user to less than, less than six months. Uh, where they are gaining, you know, better fuel economy and reducing the emissions very significantly. And I think the important thing to understand, our technology is, and this is something that's been 20 years developed. It's been verified and certified globally around the world. It is 100% computerized. And then we have what's called the Hydrolytica, which is the data collection system where it is showing in real time, minute by minute, day by day, the reduction of greenhouse gases and the improvement of fuel economy. And since we only have about a minute left, um, why don't you tell our viewers, uh, why would someone invest in Cypher Neutron at this time? And what makes this a compelling investment? Uh, so, and I mean, first of all, I mean, I, I would like to thank our existing shareholders and, uh, um, you know, who, who believed in Cypher Neutron and what we do uh, here at Cypher Neutron and Dinosaur. Uh, you know, uh, we are, I strongly believe this is the best time to be a shareholder of, you know, Cypher Neutron. Uh, we have a commercial technology today uh, to produce green hydrogen at much affordable prices. Uh, our electrolyzers have lower capex, lower opex, and one of the most sustainable electrolyzer technology available today in the world. So definitely this is the best time uh, to join uh, our team, uh, you know, as a shareholder. All right. And Jim, would you like to have any closing remarks? Well, I got to agree with, with Gabby 100% or Gershot, uh, we would call him Gabby as a nickname. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, certainly, you know, today is the right time. You know, everybody is talking about green hydrogen. Everybody's concerned about greenhouse gas. Everybody's concerned, you know, how do we move forward in this, you know, this whole climate change and stuff like that. I mean, hydrogen is certainly something that you can't deplete. I mean, you know, the thing I love about hydrogen, you cannot deplete it. You burn it, the only thing, we, the only end result is you get water out of it. You know, and so you look at this technology and certainly with 
the AEM technology that Cyberneutron has developed, it is advanced so far beyond anything out there that it, it's it's really, it's, like I said, it's the perfect opportunity, it's the perfect storm. Wonderful, thank you gentlemen for coming back with this update. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Anna. Okay, stay with us. We have Region Biopharma next.